Before you start using your calendar, I recommend that you configure Outlook to show exactly what you want. To do that, go to the Backstage in the File tab and click Options. Then go to Calendar. And let's start with setting your work time. Since I usually have meetings past 5 p.m., I'll change this to 6 p.m. This will also change the time that the scheduling assistant will use to suggest appropriate times for my meetings. By default, Outlook adds reminders to all appointments. I personally find this annoying. So, I uncheck this option and trust myself to add it manually when I schedule appointments that I don't want to miss. I can also choose to add holidays from different countries. So here I'll just select the United States for now and click OK. And lastly, if I want to add different time zones, this is a must if you're working with people from different parts of the world. So first, I'll just put a label on my current one, New York City, and then I'll choose to show a second time zone. I'll label this UK and select the time zone for London. And then I'll click OK. And as you can see, I now have the two time zones side by side in my calendar. And obviously, this is invaluable if you often schedule meetings across time zones.